Oh, who is DLG? Who is DLG? Wow. David Leighton Charles Lloyd George, is that right? David Charles Leighton Lloyd George? Wait, is his last name Lloyd George? DLG. 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 I'm DLG, uh, David Lloyd George. My dad named me after uh, my great-great-grandfather. Uh, he was a prime minister of uh, the UK. It certainly made me feel like maybe I wanted to try and break out on my own more. You know, you don't want to live in the shadow of someone who's, uh, you know, lived before you and just kind of coasts on their fame, as it were. I'd like to say one word about that. He's the personification of Trailer Park Boys. Talking all Trailer Park Boys, like, what's that? Trailer Park Boys. That was from Trailer Park Boys. I found myself in the shitbox on the back of a trailer. One day he's uh, under the shitbox. A shitbox car. It is funny, if you search up shitbox on Google, it's like the, one of the first images that pops up. It's a Ford Festiva. There was a guy selling one for 1200 uh, about an hour away from here. We talked to him and ended up buying it for 1000 bucks. Filled her up with gas and drove her an hour back on the highway. She did start steaming on the way back, though. I didn't get it registered or insured. I didn't register it. One night, Morales just wanted to go to Zaxby's and I'm like, I'll take you in the shitbox. And we get to Zaxby's, and Zaxby's is closed. So I was like, damn, what are we gonna do? Might as well do some donuts in the parking lot. Right? And then Anna's like, oh my gosh, there's a cop. It was too late, the, the lights came on, and I, had to, I stopped, and you know, she's like, oh, license and whatnot, registration. Gave her my license, gave her the paperwork that was in the car. And she was like, get out of the car, and. You know, put your hands behind your back, and she cuffed me. And, uh, shitbox got towed away. If you're gonna get arrested, make sure you get arrested with a jacket, especially if it's the winter time, because they did not turn the heat on. I had never seen anyone climb seven stories of a building at like 2 a.m. with no gear, and I've seen that now. Uh, we are having some sort of event here at the house. I think I had. A on the order of around 10 beers or something by the, by the time it was midnight. Ethan Atkinson, who's president of the Astronomy Club, he's got access to the physics building after hours. And he decided, you know, oh, let's get a group together and go to the observatory, which is on top of the building. I think it was like 10 minutes later, I was like, oh, I want to go too. I tried to get in the doors, you know, I couldn't get in. I didn't have access after hours. And so, you know, I was like, I'm getting up to the observatory one way or the other, so. I'm gonna shimmy up this. I'd push up, and then I'd bring my feet up a little bit, push up. And I did that for three stories. Got up to the first part of the building. You know, I could see the observatory up there. You know, it's three or four stories up. But this channel this time, it was a lot thinner. So one side of the channel where I, my feet were, it's probably about that wide. You know, on the other side of that channel was just a drop straight down. The alcohol kind of helped the anxiety. Anyways, I got up to the top, um, hopped over the, the chain link fence and showed up to the observatory and was, people were like, where'd you come from? I was like, he didn't let me in, bud, so I had to climb up the building. He's really smart. He's really smart, likes physics. He's one of the smartest people I've ever met. Well, he's really smart. It's amazing to see him like do physics. I was always interested in, in like science and stuff. And even at like at a young age, I, th I was always had this sort of draw to it. I did get very interested in like the periodic table of elements when I was like seven or eight. I remember I like memorized all of them. I used to read encyclopedias about it. And I remember when I was like 10, my mom got me this book called The, the Cartoon Guide to Chemistry. I carried that book everywhere. I, it, it got to the point where it just became so worn out that it started falling apart. 
when I was in 10th grade, I was in pre-calc at the time, and I was kind of bored with that class. So I was like, oh, I'll just teach myself calculus. And then ultimately, I ended up taking the AP and ended up getting a five on the AP. All this kind of turned me on to, to physics, really. Once I'd figured it out, I think it really just kind of clicked with me. And this, this has happened every so often um, when I would solve a physics problem from like just my own head. And I remember I got this like, I don't know what it was, but it was like a high. This rush of sort of, it was just some like rush. Uh, I'd rather have a few things that I'm like maybe world class in. And I think um, I was, at the time, I started to realize that like physics is, could be one of those things. My life has changed tremendously. I think I've been involved in a lot more shenanigans. I think that I'm much more of well-rounded person, uh, just like him. I'd say he's made my life a little more interesting. You know, he's taught me, taught me how to, to, how to live life uh, to the fullest, I would say. And he lives life to the fullest. If I'm ever bored, I know that I can go find DLG, and he is going to take me on an adventure. I, I mean, that kind of perfectly sums up DLG, I'd say. The best answer I can give you is DLG is an anomaly. That's all.